Hello all, I thought I would uh, show you all the latest project I've been working on. Um, it's a new camping box. I have a camping box already that I use for car camping, but this one is a bit smaller and intended to either be taken car camping or in a canoe. It was, the dimensions were set up so that I could nicely fit it in my canoe behind a cooler if I wanted to um, do some pretty luxurious car camping and or uh, canoe camping in terms of um, what I take with me. So this is definitely not something you would want to take with you if you were having to portage very far. Um, but if you're just going down an easy river and you're going for a few days, um, then this is uh, this is kind of designed for that scenario. Um, you would put this in and you would put a cooler in typically and then your gear. So uh, it's fairly heavy. I, like I said, I wouldn't want to carry it a real long ways, but um, you can carry it a, a ways. It's about the size of a, of a cooler, so maybe kind of a smallish cooler. Um, it's made out of medium density overlay, which is a high grade plywood with an MDF veneer on both sides that will take paint well and is also highly resistant to uh, water penetration. Um, the trim around it, like the top is is MDO, but then the sides are oak. Um, and then some of the accents that I've put on there, I didn't bother to paint. I just stained them and uh, or sealed them and made those out of oak as well. As far as the outside goes, um, you know, you've got you've got the box. It's roughly two feet by one feet, well, about 14 inches, I guess, two feet by about 14 inches. Um, there's small gap here um, on the feet to form a, a good base for it to sit down in the canoe or on a um, table or on the ground or whatever. For the handles, I made these little oak plates because uh, I didn't really want, I wanted something that I could get enough screws into to get a really firm purchase but um, didn't go all the way through because I didn't want to create a penetration through the side of the box. Um, and then I put these little, I'm not sure what they, they're called, um, nautical type anchors and uh, and then I used some 550 cord to I just made a cobra stitch type thing like people often do for bracelets and use that as a handle so that it can kind of look nice and flush and pull out and, and makes a nice and strong handle um, and then these anchor points also provide a place to um, lash other things in the canoe or um, or if you have it on a picnic table, you can hang trash bags off of it or, or whatever you want to do. But it gives you a nice lash point for, for whatever. Um, I didn't get real fancy with the, the lid mechanism as far as the, the latch because, uh, the honestly, the um, shock cord worked as well as anything else I could think up. So just went ahead and stayed with that. Um, the box joints are all dovetails where I where I could manage that which is in I think pretty much everywhere is where I, I used uh, dovetails um, it's probably unnecessary in some places especially on the plywood but um, yeah, you know I basically dados and dovetails everywhere and then the uh, bottom of the box one of my design requirements was that I'd be able to carry a, a cooking grill um, that you put over a fire so this has got feet on it and you can get these anywhere Walmart or, or whatever and um, I didn't really want it inside the box because they get pretty nasty when you're using them but I wanted to take it with me and I didn't want it to have to strap to the side of the box because uh, it can poke things and tear holes and sea bags and that kind of thing so I thought this was a good solution it kept it up off the bottom of the canoe but it kept it with it and um, allows to take me take it with me very fairly easily. Um, it was one of the design requirements, which is one of the reasons the box is as big as it is, because I had to be able to fit that thing. You can buy smaller grills like grates like that, but um, those are plentiful everywhere. So if you mess it up, forget it, whatever. You can go to Walmart or Kmart or wherever and just buy another one. Um, so you know, obviously this opens up fairly easily, although with one hand it's a little a little hard. Um, this is kind of a pain without, one, without two hands, but 
Um, the lid has the seal in it all the way around, so with the pressure from the shock cords, uh, that that stays on there pretty good and would keep water out, I think, unless you just like held the thing underwater for extended period of time. I think it would be fairly waterproof. Um, the inside of the box, we'll go through this stuff. It's got this little slot here. Um, it's got some napkin towel things, some plates. The idea there being just cook them and burn them. Um, I made this little cutting board of a larger cutting board and trimmed it down and everything, so that works well. Um, I don't have everything in here that I'll actually take with me. I just threw some stuff in here that I thought would be beneficial, like these containers are empty, but um, it's probably what I'll take if I, if I have a need for all of them. I have this little measuring thing for pancakes and such, some tea, this is some um, Gatorade type stuff I think. Uh, I have a couple mugs. This is my uh, spice kit and my mug. I've got some extra salt and pepper and then these little Coleman spice kits. So salt and pepper in that one and uh, red pepper and red pepper flakes in that one and onion and garlic in the other two. So sometimes camp food can get kind of bland so that extra, those extra spices can come in handy. Um, oh man, with one hand this is tough. Um, and inside that I have these little pegs that I put in so that the, the little oak boxes will um, will sit on those. I've got little holes drilled in the sides to make it easier to take out, which is easy when you're using two hands. But most places I have these little napkins in the bottom too just to uh, give it a little bit of a cushion, but this is my cast aluminum uh, Dutch oven, which I've used a few times and I really like it. It's definitely worth taking with you if you're gonna do much cooking And I have a little fry pan sitting inside that that I can hold on with my uh, Multi-tool or whatever. I took the handle off so um, So that's that Then over here I have um, a little drawer for utensils, uh, a little pancake flipper, some forks, which I took out of my backpacking gear, um, a couple tongs, those are really handy for um, hot dogs and burgers and steaks and whatever you might have with you. Looking for tea, there's some tea over here. Uh, some can openers because I went recently with a, some friends and they brought some beans and they didn't have any way to open them so although you could do it with your uh, multi-tool but it's easier with a real one. Um, some spoons and a knife that I actually got at uh, Target which I like. It's um, It's got this little built-in or it comes with it this little sheath which I thought was pretty handy for this application. Um, then uh, Then in here I have a percolator. I'll put the coffee stuff inside there because there's plenty of room. This is a, a water filter, water purifier. Um, and then here's some uh, it's, uh, pots and such, backpacker style pots. Um, I have a little um, esbit in there as well with some fuel in case I need that as a backup. Uh, normally I would just build a campfire, but if for whatever reason I can't or don't want to or whatever, I can just use it as a bit for a few days if I need to. Then over here I have um, some matches, some a couple other fire starting methods, um, some uh, cotton balls that are soaked in Vaseline as a tinder, and then it's just some miscellaneous needles and metal stuff, and then the headphones. Napkins, cleaner, soap, some hand sanitizer, some extra paracord, um, some trash bags. So I can pack out everything that I don't want to burn off in the can't or don't want to burn off in the fire. Um, and then below here, I have some containers. Like I could take the peanut butter with me. This is a um, first aid kit. I don't really like it being that deep into the kit. I'd probably carry that in another bag, in a sea bag or something. And then I have a, a tarp that I can uh, use if it's raining to protect the kitchen and 
put a fire up under it and everything like that. And then this is a little green piece of plastic that I use for uh, a cutting board if this other one isn't enough. Or Plus that one's flexible so it's kind of nice for cutting potatoes and stuff and then just scooping them up and putting them in, a, in the crock pot or in the um, Dutch oven. So I think that's it. So this has pretty much everything I would need to take with me in terms of the kitchen. Uh, you know, if I was by myself, I obviously wouldn't need this, but if you're going with four or five, six guys, it can be nice to have one canoe with um, a more complete kitchen setup, a truck box scenario, so uh, they don't all have to bring all that stuff. and um, It's just nice to have. Um, so yeah, that's the, that's the complete set up there. Uh, I guess that's it. Oh, I um, also made this removable, this little divider here, because it's too hard to get in here to clean it. So once you take these things out, you can pull that divider out and uh, get easier access to cleaning stuff. These joints are obviously uh, dados. Um, I guess that's it. If you guys have any questions, let me know. Oh, one other small thing. Um, I don't really like having to just stick the lid on the ground, so I made it like this um, so that this rides like that. And so you can use this as a chair, or if you've got all the stuff out of the box, um, you can use it as a cutting surface. If you bring a camp chair or something with you, or just sit on the ground and use that as a preparation area because you need usually need a flat surface, and you know, you're not going to have one just in the typically in the in the woods. Um, I've also thought about putting little brackets here and here and making a mechanism that I can stick the lid over to the side and mount it there, but I haven't done that yet. I'm not sure if I'm going to or not. I'll probably use it a little bit more before I decide whether that's really necessary. But anyway, um, and then of course when it's all closed up you can use it as a chair as well. Um, it's about decent height for that and about the right size. So anyway, if you guys have any questions or comments, just let me know. Talk to you later.